let's continue. Let's close Lumi. And let's open up my browser again so we don't need that one. Um, oh, yeah, Matthias. Spam bots occur from time to time. Okay. Yeah, I have, have not had one before, but um, it was the first person who commented. And I was, oh, who's that? It was spam. Okay, uh, topic number three for today is the OER Hub. Maybe you're wondering uh, where is it, when is it going to be released? I don't know. It's set uh, to be released in uh, the first quarter of, of 2021. And um, fingers crossed. Um, but of course, H5P is open source and we can have a look at it. So I'm not completely sure if it will still work. But um, I took the uh, source code from, I think it's the state is from last week or maybe it's oh, 10 days old and um, I put it on my on a local Drupal um, instance and we can have a look at it now so this is like a naked Drupal 7 um, Drupal 7 because that's the first system that is going to get the OER hub besides hrf.com so I took the code and um, basically I just installed h5p and um, um, I, I I got the um, the latest code, not the official code. So so it's pretty naked. There's no content here. The only thing that I did was to install the uh, some of the content types already. So if we now go to add new content, and you know how that works in, in Drupal, you click on interactive content, and now we see the hub. And if you know the hub, you will notice okay, there is something new up here. I know create content, I know upload, but get shared content is new. And um, again, fingers crossed, I st hope it still works because um, the HFP core team may have changed some things um, and I haven't checked before because I know it's too late. So um, fingers crossed and let's click here and get shared content and uh, it still seems to be working and it is still working. So uh, this is still a test server, so there's no, um, I guess there is no, let's have a look maybe. Um, this might not be actual content. Oh no, it probably isn't because it's just 19 results. So, but um, you would now see like it's like an app store. You would see all the the content um, that is on the HFP hub, on the OER hub, and we could have a look at it. But um, in in the final version, you would we would be able to filter by discipline, for example. That doesn't work yet. So if I click on on those, I I can't filter by content types. I can't filter by license if I'm only interested in CC0 licenses, for example. Um, I can filter by language and so on, but that will work in the end. What I, I can do is I could filter by, uh, by using the, the, uh, the um, search field, the search query field, um, but I don't know what's in here. So, um, okay, what would, let's say modern moon race. I don't know what modern moon race is, but let's say I was interested in moon content. So um, I would filter for moon, I would look for moon content and I would only see content that is related to moon. And um, so now I would uh, say, okay, let's have a look at this modern moon race. So I would click here and I'll get more information. So this, the way you, you now see h 5 would be, could be a preview image of the content. So you know what, what it is. And uh, preview, um, we'll click on that in a second. But first of all, let's have a look at all the other information that we have. So we have the author, which is Jubal AS, so the f core team. We see, okay, it's a multiple choice question. Uh, it is in Norwegian, uh, which may be a problem so for some. Um, we have the, um, the fields, the subjects, so architectural history and criticism, African studies, com yeah, related to the modern moon race. That is, I'm pretty sure that it's just test content. And we have a level that we can set. And we see the size, it's 1.2 M megabytes, so probably an image in there. Uh, we have the license information, which is CC by um, one. Why one? Who chooses one? Uh, even for demo content. And we have some published information, so um, you can add that as well. Or see that as well. So I it might be interesting. I am looking for a multiple choice question related to the modern moon race, but let's have a look. So you can click on preview and in an, in an extra window, it would now get the content. Oh, it should get the content, it doesn't. So that actually doesn't work anymore. So, as you, but as you can see, API test hypi.org. So actually that does not work, that is a pity, but um, normally you would see the content here now. Oh, but maybe it's broken, I see a single line. Maybe the content is broken, let's just have a look. 
Okay, you would, would see a preview and let's say, okay, I wanna use it. So you would now click here on uh, get content and let's see if it is downloading. It says it's downloading ah, and it failed. So in theory, now we would have the, um, the multiple choice uh, content if you don't believe me, by the way, I did that last week, and uh, I can I can <laughs> give the link to a German video where you can see that it works. So we would have the multiple choice content now. So um, that's the one way. So this way you could get stuff from the um, the H5P hub, and of course there's the other way around. So if we create content and we want to share it with others, so let's say we we would uh, create our own multiple choice question, um, we would do that here. And uh, let's say, uh, again, we'll just have, oh, we can do some, we can just upload our old question that we just created. Uh -huh. Here it is. So, yeah. So we have the multiple choice question with my title, with my question, with A, B, and the other th stuff, and we can save it. And if we now look, okay, you see view, we see edit, and we see, we see share, which is good because share is the new button. And, and don't worry, on WordPress it would uh, be on the right hand side so WordPress has all the options up uh, here to, to save it and to edit it and um, somewhere there will be a share button and if we click that first of all um, if we haven't done that before and I haven't we'll have to um, tell H5P content who we are so we have to enter some information let's see if, if that still works so um, you would have to give yourself a name and uh, I'll just call it test and with some numbers so the HFP Corti knows it's a test and uh, let's also use test something at uh, let's use snorting.de just test and then you have some some other options you can add some uh, information about yourself and that was a thing that we saw um, in the preview of the content or in the um, preview of the yeah, in the preview of the content on the hub. So people know, okay, this person published that. We can add some other information like, uh, who am I? How can you phone me if you want to? Uh, we can add, add a logo. And of course we have to accept the terms of use. And then we can register on the H5P hub. So we just have to do that once, of course. And so now again, I'm not sure if that is still working, but that, uh, okay, it was working. So now I seem to register it and now if I go back and I have to re this time I have to reload. Ah no, sorry again. I haven't used that used that, that hub much, of course. Again, still have to go to share, and now I will not see um, uh, the other. I don't have to enter uh, my my information, but now I can add all the stuff that is relevant for the content. So if I already had uh, added metadata like license information, that would be in here already. But if I have not, I would have to choose that, of course. So let's say in my public, of course, this great demo content question is public domain. And um, yeah, that doesn't have a licensed version, so that's grayed out. Let's, uh, the question is English. Let's say that is really for beginners. A and B is not, not that difficult. You have to add at least um, one discipline. Let's say demo. I don't know. Let's say that was a law question. Um, and that's it. So that's the basically the copyright information, and now you have to uh, have to have some optional information that you can can give, for, for example, keywords, and um, that is of course demo and test, so people can identify test content. Um, you, you could upload an icon that would be the one that you saw on the on the preview. And you can can um, add up to five screenshots, so uh, you can uh, so people without opening the the content itself could see. Okay, um, that's how it looks if I want it. And you can add two descriptions, a short one, which would be on the um, it would be on the in the overview where you just see okay where you have to click on content first, and the long description of course would be on the the information page. And um, if you've done that, you have to review everything. So just make sure that it's correct and then you can click on share and let's see if that still works and okay that still works I just can't get content from the hub so um, that is now on the, the test server and uh, oh yeah that would th that never worked before so um, click on no um, I I think um, now Drupal is waiting for 
like an answer from the server so I am done and um, it doesn't do that yet or maybe because um, uh, I'm not officially approved or the hub is still in test mode so I this seems to be counterintuitive but I can click on close and say yeah I want to can cancel it but actually it's not cancelled I just have to reload now that's what was reloading for and you will get all kinds of um, error messages here my, my test server but um, don't worry about that that is just here and now you see um, I don't I can um, do three things now I can edit my sharing information so if I think I made a mistake although I checked um, I can go there again and edit all the information and when I've done that it doesn't sync automatically so you can you have to do that yourself so um, you have to go to click sync changes and of course yeah it will um, and again and again it will tell you some error messages but that's just uh, on my system so uh, when you have an update um, and you're done and say okay this is version number two you can reshare that and if you think think um, okay um, maybe I have made a mistake I shouldn't have shared that content at all and uh, then you can also click on unshare and I'm not sure if that works but um, it should so now it wouldn't be shared anymore so that is how the hub will work um, more information that I know that I have um, some people asked me uh, can I have like a, like a local hub so I don't want to have it like a central hub um, that's accessible to uh, by everyone uh, can I just have one for my my school or my university and um, the answer of Sven Tor the um, the boss of Jubel was uh, no there are too many silos already so um, he doesn't want to create more silos so uh, there's just one central um, OER hub but uh, you can use that of course so um, the idea is people should share and they should be nudged to sharing if they want to use it so um, you can kind of you can have a backup for example on the OER hub but it will be a backup for the whole world and everyone can use that content um, yeah and I guess that is um, that was my my demo of the OER hub again it, it's just um, the source code that I I, um, I found on the net and there may be bugs I'm not sure what, what you saw was not a problem with my, it was the problem with my setup not with the OER hub itself and it, it is still running on a test server not on a real server so uh, the demo content was bogus of course but um, yeah I think you should now know how it will work very soon hopefully